Venus, its interior and surface features. Venus also has a core and mantle and crust like the Earth and Mercury, but its core is not as big as Mercury in relation to its overall size. Most of Venus's surface is made of rolling planes. 65% roughly of the surface, the rolling planes, okay? The other 24% of the surface is highlands, like the moon. So there are higher regions of plateau like uh, hills. And the remaining 11% is very high, very, very high mountains, okay? So the highlands are like more plateaus, and 11% are very high mountains. There are two major continents on Venus named Ishtar and Aphrodite Terra. It's not surprising that they're named this because Aphrodite is the Greek god of love. Ishtar is the Babylonian uh, god. Okay? These are all gods of, related to love. Ishtar Terra boasts a large mountain on it called Maxwell Montes. Most of the volcanic mountains on Venus are shallow sloped shield volcanoes like those in Hawaii. Uh, Maxwell Montes, by the way, is the largest mountain in, on Venus, okay? Uh, so the mountains there are, the sh volcanoes there are shield volcanoes, like in Hawaii. Some of the famous ones are called Gula Mons and Sif Mons. There are also features called Coronae, which are circular bulges, okay? There's circular bulge, the, the volcano goes up and forms like a circle, okay? Uh, this is the Aphrodite Terra right here. You see? And then this one is Ishtar Terra right here. <coughs> and then the other ones are the rolling, these are the rolling plains here. These are the highlands. You see these green ones are the highlands. And then you've got the, the, the big uh, mountain on the Ishtar Terra, the uh, Maxwell Montes. Venus's atmosphere. The atmosphere of Venus is a thick atmosphere made of 96% carbon dioxide and different amounts of acids such as sulfuric acid and hydrochloric acid. Very, very unfriendly environment to live in. It is about 92 times denser. The, the atmosphere on Venus is 92 times denser than the atmosphere of Earth. It would crush you basically. The carbon dioxide makes Venus trap the heat it gets from the sun in a process called the runaway greenhouse effect. And I mentioned that before when we were talking about the greenhouse effect. So that's, it's the hottest planet, basically, Venus. Uh, very, very hot. It traps, it traps its heat. It's crazy hot. 